Welcome to GWC. My name is Magembe, and uh, today I'm here with uh, my friend. Uh, he can tell you uh, his name. Yeah, my name is Evan Sinyambane. I'll be keeping a special from Nyamira County. Good. Uh, in today's episode, uh, we will uh, be looking at uh, how to uh, build a uh, long store drive. Uh, because you remember in the previous video, I told you that uh, uh, when you start beekeeping, you're going to have challenges uh, getting the collector hives uh, because there's a lot of hives being sold in the market and you need to select uh, the best hive for you uh, so that you can become a, a successful beekeeper. Uh, so uh, since I started, I told you that at the beginning, I had the challenge getting the, the right hives and then uh, finally I was able to get uh, a carpenter, other technician, who's actually making the best hives uh, I can say in Kenya. And, uh, you know, it comes from uh, Kebiligo here in uh, uh, Yamira County. And uh, so today we will uh, go through the process uh, so that you can see what it does to actually get the uh, light hive. Uh, so today it's going to not be my time, it's going to be his time. He will actually take us through. Uh, he explain, uh, you know, uh, what kind of uh, timber he uses, what kind of machinery he does and uh, how he gets everything to be done. So welcome and uh, yeah, uh, you know, pay attention and you'll be able to uh, go through the process and see how everything goes. Okay. You can go ahead. Okay, thanks. Okay, as, as I told you, uh, I'm Evan Sinyambane, a beekeeper specialist from Kebirigo, Nyamira County, and I have done this job for the last 20 years down the line. Now, in beekeeping, it is very simple and it is very fascinating. Here, we use uh, agriferia, timber agriferia tree, because it doesn't repel with the bees. That's why we use this type of timber. And here in the workshop, I will take you through from the initial stage uh, in making or assembling these bee hives. So here with me here, we have three types of machines. From this side, this is wood working machine for cutting, for planing, and even chopping them into small sizes. And here, this is the second <coughs> machine, it is also called fully working machine, but it is function here mainly is for making the, the roof. I take you through. So this is the roof where I will enter my B wax. B wax I will explain to you later. So after here, then we go to bending machine. Bending machine. This is the bending machine. It is work is to make the joint. So if I can take you to the initial machine, fully working for chopping this small into in, 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 in the small segments. Like a man need to train to become a carpenter. He's doing a very good job. I love it. Eh? Yeah. So after here, then I continue with the making of the grooves by using this this type of machine here. So here I go. using these frames.
So you've seen he's doing exciting work. Looks like uh, you want to become a beekeeper. You might train to become a carpenter so that you can be able to, uh, you know, make your own knives and uh, help your neighbors with knives. Uh, it's very exciting work. Uh, so if, if uh, Evans, you can take us through again. Yes, uh, you said the first machine was, uh, if you can just talk about it, you say it was for making what? Okay, for, for, cut, for, for, for just cutting, mm. planing into small pieces okay. of, of timber. Okay. Yeah. And the second one? And the second one, it, it is the, the same as that one, but this one is for making the roofs. Okay. Just the roofs. Okay. And the third one, the pencil, just for making the joints. And this is for making, uh, this is for flames, Fra eh? yeah, 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 flames. This well, is for ma I making flames. Because the... last time we went through the parts of the Langstroth right? and we talked about the different parts of the Langstroth, and you remember that one of the parts is the flames. So this is uh, the process that uh, uh, the carpenters or the technicians go through to actually make the flames. Uh, and you have seen the process. And uh, you know, this guy is using uh, uh, the right uh, machinery uh, to actually get, get the work done and uh, the collected timber because uh, he told you that he's actually uh, uh, using Grivelia uh, tree or Grivelia timber to actually make this one uh, because uh, some of the challenges we have had are both some of the hives that uh, are actually uh, people have used like uh, a cyclers, uh tree and uh, I think the bees don't like the smell of the cyclers tree so what happens is that uh, uh, then you buy the hive and the hive will not get colonized uh, because of the type of timber that our hive has been made of. Uh, but, you know, here he uses Gilveria to actually uh, make the flames. And uh, you can see, these are the flames. And I'm assuming, uh, you know, uh, he will show us on how he does this. Uh, this is going to be the next step. He will show us how to uh, assemble all of the parts together and how he makes the flames. Yeah, so uh, stay tuned. Uh, it's exciting stuff. You're going to see uh, a lot uh, by the end of this lesson. You're gonna become a carpenter, I'm assuming, <laughs> although you need uh, more training. <laughs> okay? Thank you. So, once uh, uh, our friend here, the carpenter, he has uh, prepared the uh, different parts of the Langstro tile, uh, we, uh, he will show us how now he does the assembly. Uh, we want to see, you know, we want to experience, you know, this is the man who does this job. Uh, let him show us, and you can see actually, he has his uh, uh, co workers here. You see they are busy, this is like a, you know, a small factory, uh, you know, they are busy uh, working on the hives and you know, you can see all these boxes, different parts of the Langstra type uh, that actually are already prepared. Uh, so uh, they're just doing the assembly, you know, the first step, you know, where we were, that, sec uh, that section, when the section where is actually preparing the different parts of the uh, Langstra types, uh, and in this uh, uh, section of the factory, uh, he's actually now doing the assembly. Uh, so uh, our friend here, Evans, he will take us through the assembly part and uh, the assembly section, and you'll see how he's actually doing the assembly. Uh, so my friend, you can go ahead and uh, uh, show our audience, our viewers, uh, you know, what happens here. And you tell them whether you have this job or you want to quit and do something else. Okay, okay. That's a good question. So after training and after cutting this piece, uh, uh, these pieces of timber into small sizes, so this is the high uh, uh, brood box. The brood box. This is the bottom part of the process, whereby the queen and the whole colony where they will enter using this small slit entrance and exit. Yeah, there's, so a, there's see, an entrance here. Yeah, you see a small one just for the bee to go through. Yeah, this is the size of the bee. The bees are, are only allowed to enter, not anything else. So this is a box, empty box. Now let me show you the the whole box with frames, root box with frames, eleven frames of them, and each has got the starting comb with the wires, of course, to stabilize the comb. So this is what uh, we yeah. you, you call the wax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the wax sheet. Uh. Yeah, the wax sheet. If this function is to attract the bees so that they can enter this box without it is no bees yeah so they, when, when they come they just use this seat here the evidence here and, and they just go in the room okay. yeah it is the size of the bees this is the broad box now we come to the second part this is the second part 
But we are constructing a, 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 a constructing it here. This is the honey chamber. It has got also the frames with B wax. B wax are very important so that the bees can attach their comb to build the, the comb and of course the, 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 the deposit honey in this frame. You have yeah, frames. So, and, and what's the work of this? Uh, so that uh, our viewers can understand too. Okay. What's the work of this? Is it to direct the comb okay. or okay. the wires? The work of these wires is, is start to, uh, to give reinforcement to the delicate combs. Mm -hmm. They are delicate and heavy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So in between here, we have the queen extruder. This is the queen extruder. It is function is to respect the, the movement of the queen from the bottom here through coming up up there so this queen excluder is placed this way to control the, the movement of the queen then on top we have the super where the bees will deposit honey and, and, and why do you want to uh, control the movement of the queen from the brooder to the super okay a good question so here we need just honey okay. just big honey and all, all of the young ones of, of the bees will remain down, downwards because the queen can't move from down here and, and come up here. The super. Yeah, so super okay. to lay eggs. Okay. If it comes by mistake, it will lay eggs here and we will have no more honey. And we want to harvest. And we, and we want, of course, more honey here. And you know, we are in the business of making money. Yeah, yeah. So, of course, we want to harvest uh, pure honey yeah. from the yeah. super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay, on top we have the. Lead, lead, and the cover. The cover, just we cover it properly. In case you place your hive uh, on the open top, uh, 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 we have the sheet to protect the rain. Inside, we have the the apply wood to control the temperature. So your hive is smart and presentable. So this is. Uh, can we show them the full hive? Yeah, the full hive. Yeah, yeah. So now this, this is now is complete. Food. Yeah, yeah. From the different parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are having them, and yeah. these are the handles. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess I can. Let me see. Okay, okay, okay. Oh man, oh, okay. this thing is heavy, eh? Yeah, yeah, it is heavy. Small, but it's so somebody heavy. has to uh, follow the set here. Yeah, yeah. The question <laughs> when they are, uh, or somebody has to. Uh, let's try two of us. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's much better, eh? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it looks like yeah. it's easy yeah. to work. Uh, yeah. Uh, two people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sometimes working alone is, uh, is it's so an yeah. issue. Yeah. It's a difficult. Eh? Yeah. So as I always say. That is why if you get when you want to get involved in beekeeping, uh, you're gonna need to uh, train other people. You're gonna need an help, somebody who's helping you this, uh, do this job. Uh, because one is that uh, you know these hives are actually heavy. Uh, you know, make sure you don't mess up your back. Uh, so you need to have a friend or somebody who's interested in beekeeping, so they can help you uh, carry these things. And uh, of course, if you uh, you want to become a carpenter, uh, you see you can even create employment. You know, you see these guys are here, this, uh, 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 working on uh, on the hives, and uh, you know they are. You can tell you, you can tell them. I think you are having a lot of orders uh, for the hives that the different people that they require. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nowadays we have Langstroth B hive because it is the most current B hive with the highest te technology. So we, we do make them assemble them here at the workshop here at the at the Mira County. As you can see, we have different boxes assembled here with the yellow color, and the yellow color it is very much significant to the bees because most of the flowers in the world they are in the color yellow. So color yellow it, it is very very peaceful to the bees. Good. They get attracted. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that's why we have the yellow color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what did people want to uh, reach you uh, to get the eyes? Okay. Yeah. It, it, it. Because even myself, myself when, the way I got the eyes, uh, I came here to get the eyes from this guy, is that, uh, you know, once I had the challenges at the beginning, I was asking people, where can I get good eyes? And uh, uh, one beekeeper told me, actually, if you want good eyes, this is the number you can go uh, to this guy. He can be able to, uh, uh, you know, build very nice eyes for you. So what if people want to get the eye from you? Okay, How it, they reach? It, it is very simple. You can reach me through this telephone number 07-28-28-772. Can you say that again? 07-28-28-772. Again, Everyone is Nyambani. From? From Kebiriko, Yamina County. Good. Yeah. So if you need them, 
uh, this is where you can uh, you can get in and uh, you're interested in beekeeping as we have said you know beekeeping is good we preserve the environment we make money and uh, of course without the bees our life uh, would be in danger uh, so if, even if you don't want to become a beekeeper you can support beekeeping by actually buying uh, bee products you can buy honey you can uh, you know buy uh, wax uh, there is uh, royal jelly uh, there is venom you know we have even discussed the uh, benefits of uh, the products from the bees uh, so yeah support beekeeping thank you okay. yes okay. Uh, let's let's uh, we're going to move to the next step yeah. we are not done because yeah. uh, now we want we want him to show us how he does uh, the harvesting of honey uh, he will take us through the steps we want to see how he does this actually i've seen uh, even i've seen you have uh, you have a queen uh, you know you have the honey honey extractor uh, can, can you help me? Yes, so gonna, he, we, we are still not done. He's going to show us a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, things that he will show us here. How he does this, but he will take us through the process so we can see how he does his harvesting. And uh, another thing we're going to see, so stay tuned, we're going to see he has uh, an apiary. He has constructed an apiary, uh, which we're going to see uh, how this is being done. And they will show us that too. Yeah, so uh, let's see. Can we move this back a bit? Uh, we see how this, uh, you know, yes, a big one. Myself, I have a hundred year three flame extractor because uh, uh, I started not uh, long ago. Uh, but uh, him, he has been uh, doing this for, for the last uh, 20 years. Can we move this back a bit? For the last uh, 20 years. Uh, so, uh, you know, he has a lot of experience. And uh, of course, we, we run through experience. It's good to study, to listen to these things, but at the same time, you know, you gotta experience these things, you gotta do them. This is the only way out you can be able to actually uh, know how to do things. You know, always I say, you don't need to be perfect. You start uh, 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 slowly, and at the end of the day, you could have actually uh, uh, done something. So let's start. Okay, this is the honey extractor. This is a special machine for extracting honey from the honeycombs. So it has about the four biscuits. So let us now assume now the bees have filled the comb and they have just uh, put the honey all, all of through this frame. So you take this frame and you open. After opening, now you take it to the tip of this basket, one at every frame. Now we, we press them inside here. After placing them, then we lock it or we cover it. Then we spin it manually. When spinning, the honey inside the comb will come uh, uh, will come out the machine, and will collect it down at the bottom of the machine. And at the long last, it will come through here, this exit here, and you get your honey. Nice. Yeah. Nice. After after extracting, then you take the comb to the beehive. But, yeah. So that, uh, yeah, you take the empty, uh, uh, once you have removed your honey, mm -hmm. you take the empty, uh, comes back to the hives, mm -hmm. uh, so that actually uh, the bees can start uh, uh, putting, uh, you know, more, uh, more honey again. Yeah, so uh, we are here now. Uh, so uh, our competitor, he also actually is a beekeeper at the same time. Uh, you can see him there. So he will explain. Him, he has... Uh, uh, an apiary where he has done a structure you can see that structure that's his apiary uh, that is actually the house for the bees in there uh, he has put uh, hives in this uh, apiary yes you, if you see it nicely it's made of uh, mud the walls made of mud and at the top there is uh, there is a iron sheet and at the top top most point i'm not sure whether you can see it correctly he has actually an opening for the bees to get out so, uh, yeah, he can uh, take us through and uh, how he has uh, constructed this up here. And, uh, you know, if you want to start cheap and, uh, you know, maybe you can like this kind of uh, up here. Because uh, uh, I've shown you guys before, myself, I'm having an up here where my hives are actually uh, uh, placed at a uh, coffee farm. Uh, but for him, uh, because of, uh, you know, yes, neighbors here, and uh, to make sure that the bees are secure, they don't uh, injure anyone. So he has uh, decided to construct an apiary, and he can tell us how long he has been having this apiary for. 
So Evans, can you explain to our audience, uh, you know, how you have done this? Okay, okay, thanks. Welcome. This is my this is my bee house actually, where I have placed a good number of bee hives. As you can see, it is made of of soil, and on top iron sheet, and we shall enter inside so that we can see those bee hives. So building the house or a structure, it is very very con con convenient so that your beehives are safe from from thieves yeah good so we can go inside yeah can go. and uh, you show us uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. you know we are here with the samata beekeepers <laughs> uh, these are beekeepers too you know they have uh, yeah they have uh, apiaries and uh, you know we are running a few things you know when you start beekeeping you were always uh, running something new every day. So we are still here to uh, gather more knowledge yeah. and how to continue. Viewers. Yes, so they can say hi. Hello, viewers. Hello. Good, good, good. So you we, you can see inside the apiary. Uh, so let him let, um, take us through. You can see all the hives. Uh, yeah, go ahead and... Uh, okay. Now this is the inside of the apiary. As you can see, we have a good number of... Uh, of the stars, three of them, this side three, and this side three, mm. and the other side, even this one. So you can see the good number of beehives placed on top of those tracks. So the beehives are resting on top of those tracks. The bees get inside through this big entrance and exit. As you can see them, they are uh, the exit is at the most top. So the bees come inside here through that address. So there's no disturbance from the yeah, surrounding areas here. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So yeah, so you see, people are outside and uh, bees cannot. Uh, mm -hmm. And people, you know, those people say, hey, how can I have, uh, how can I do beekeeping in my compound? I have a small place. I don't want the bees to uh, kill people. Mm -hmm. You see, you can even uh, contain bees this way. Mm -hmm. I have a structure for them. And then, uh, you know, you open it up there. So when the bees are going, they go out mm -hmm. to go look for nectar and pollen. Mm -hmm. And they come back and, uh, yeah, you can have shelves this way. And uh, yes, a ladder so that when he's harvesting, yeah. he can be able to harvest nicely. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so this is another way of uh, doing beekeeping. There are different ways. Mm -hmm. You can make your beer in different ways. And this is one way. Mm -hmm. So, you know, again, we'll be seeing more. Uh, but for today, uh, yeah. You can see this up here. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, Evans, thank you. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you for taking us uh, through. Okay. I'm hoping that there's a few people you will inspire okay, okay, okay. on uh, on this uh, up here that we have constructed here. Okay. And somebody will be like, ah, that's really cool. Okay. I need to have uh, one like that. Okay. So thank you again okay, for your time. Okay,